Hi. So today I have something really cool to show you guys. It's this thing right here. I know you guys know this is the carbon kit for the AP01 Nothing New. But actually it's not the carbon kit. I got the carbon kit today and I do not regret getting it. There are some really cool features. You fold it and it's right here where my front handle is. So this is my, in my opinion, a better MP9 or MP7 because you can actually upgrade it. And most importantly, in my opinion, Kao Kao saved the AP01 for me. This is the Kao Kao blowback housing with the Kao Kao nozzle and short stroke kit. The nozzle is CNC, aluminum, and the, the blowback housing itself, or the bolt, which you call it, I measured the weight. It's 38 grams without anything on it. And after you, you install the, I mean, to work with the carbon kit, you can need this. And I really think the carbon kit is super neat. Okay, we just remove the suppressor here, so it's easier to maneuver, but I really like the look. I have an integrated tracer to it. But set that aside. Standard carbon kit, but this for me, this is nice. This is so nice. One piece receiver, fixed barrel. The whole pop is actually, the whole pop chamber is decent. You just need to pick the right bucking for it. But the blowback unit, the weight to it, it's amazing. Of course, there are a couple downsides I don't like about this thing is it is aluminum anodized slow sliding really fast inside anodized housing. This is uh, made by Action Army itself and it scratches kind of easily. I don't, yeah, it's already losing pain there and I got this thing for one day. And what's even more impressive is I already broke two stock AP01 hammers. They are batch one, yes. I don't know if they fix it, but with the full kit, which comes with two additional buffers, a new return uh, recoil spring, and the spring guide, the rate of fire on this thing is absolutely insane for a gas blowback rifle. Which brings me to the next point. It doesn't really make sense for gas mag. You shoot one mag with very, very poor efficiency, gas spilling everywhere. If you either run, run the short and run the long, about the same thing. Um, the machining on the bolt on this is actually, after severe use, it's, I still don't know how it flips this thing, really. I need a tool to, it just doesn't flip it for me. No matter how hard I try, I think the machine. Okay, yeah, there we go. You can hear the hard click. You do it, not easy. Switching it in game, not really doable. It you can't just see some guy not calling the hit or see some guy running and just switch it instantly. No, but it's really really nice the whole kit. Uh, running on semi, the trigger, I would still say, go for high cover. High cover trigger is the best. Uh, you still get the Glock squeegee trigger, but that's okay. But to demonstrate, this thing on HPA though, it's nuts. It's absolutely crazy, and I think everybody use it, should be using HPA adapter on this. Uh, I tried MP5 adapter on this because generally I think it looks better. But I couldn't find an MP5 mag that fits 03 BBs fast enough for this thing to shoot. Yeah, we really need good MP5 mags on the market, but there isn't any. So take M41. I have a, but to, for you to have an idea, I'm gonna bring here a HP adapter for MP5, just for you to have an idea. Do note the um, hammer is broken, so it's not gonna work the same way as you have a standard one, but it will shoot. 
So the moment I pull back the slide, it's gonna cycle. I love that sound of a fast cycling gas blowback. That's just, that is just amazing. And uh, for me, the cow cow blowback house, lightweight bolt or blowback housing. I mean, this is technique. Technically a bolt carrier. A real gun, but it's about the size of a blowback housing. And this really made this gun special to me because I run, uh, I had a video where I built a carbon kit for the AP01 and I wasn't very impressed by it. Partially because it had a bunch of null functions back then. And it still has. Uh, the cocoa kit, yeah, well, this would be one of them. The um, original bolt with the stock recoil spring, it didn't have enough power to work against the stack pressure of the BB feeding, so it doesn't already return to battery. It just jams here, and your trigger just doesn't work on it. So a lot of time, me in game, a lot of times, it just didn't shoot when I needed and I had to really forward assist on it. And uh, the stock bolt back then, it was still 100 grams. It's 100 grams for a, not a slide, but a bolt carrier kind of sorts. So the, even on retail fire side, I didn't really think it's that impressive because the TM, stock TM cycled faster. But with this cow cow unit, man, this is just incredible. I think the weight of the bolts group is on pair with 3D print high kappa, like slide with blowback housing sets. And this giving it a selective fire, I think it certainly makes a better carbon kit than building a high kappa because high kappa, your, your locks easier to semi most of the time or you can upgrade it to full but that would be full auto only so yeah i absolutely love this the wear on tear is very noticeable and without some constant lube i'm sure this wouldn't look very pretty but so far it's good and uh man this thing for me is kind of ugly be very honest, but uh, it did Hollywood runs absolutely. With a uh, uh, this is a Vector Optics fixed three time magnifying scope, a uh, pris uh, prism scope, which means the eye relief is already always kind of poor. But the fact they put this Picatinny reel here actually made it perfect. I had no use for this scope because it didn't fit any of my guns, given the short eye relief, and now it actually does. And the fact that this thing just, I'm sure they didn't design this way, but the fact it just matches the foregrip, that's just great. This is an amazing package. And if you have AP01, get the Cow Cow blowback housing. It's the single best thing you can do for it. It's not this. CNC upper, that's for sure. That's a hundred bucks that doesn't really do much, especially if you get the carbon kit, which you will get the Picatinny rails. Uh, plus, get the... I, I already ordered the Cow Cow stainless steel CNC hammer group. It's three pieces for the whole hammer group, and that's for like 40 euros. And if you buy just the Action Army is 35. So just, if you can find it in stock, buy the Cow Cow Hammer unit. Um, that would be a better deal than having the Action Army one. But this, this is great. I absolutely love this.